Welcome to Elevation Recovery. This is Matt Finch, and in this video, you're going to learn all about the opioid vaccine that is probably coming out in the near future. With $25 million of funding from the National Institutes of Health Helping to End Addiction Long-Term Heal Initiative, vaccine scientists are going to create an adjuvant opioid use disorder vaccine. The vaccine targets fentanyl, a synthetic and very potent opioid that is up to 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine. Right now, there's a fentanyl epidemic. The reason that opioid overdose deaths have spiked so much is not because of heroin. It's not because of pharmaceutical prescription opioids. It's due to heroin that's laced with fentanyl. It's due to black market uh, pills that look like oxycodone or oxycotton, yet they either have entirely fentanyl or they're cut with fentanyl in them. And due to so many people dying, it's really hard to reverse fentanyl overdoses. It's very powerful. It can be longer acting. And so this opioid use disorder adjuvant vaccine will be something that after after a person is vaccinated, if they were to take fentanyl or if they were to, you know, use Percocet that they think is Percocet that they buy from a drug dealer and really it has fentanyl in it. And so after a person gets vaccinated from this opioid vaccine, the vaccine medicine will protect them from opioids. It'll protect their central nervous system and brain. Let's talk about how it works. Here's another quote. This could be a game changer for addiction, said Costin, who also serves as the director of cognitive and behavioral neuroscience program at UH. Costin received 1.8 million of the grant to make the combination of the adjuvant with the vaccine as powerful as possible. What is an adjuvant molecule? Simply put, an adjuvant molecule is something that boosts the effectiveness or boosts the efficacy of the vaccine. So they're putting a lot into this. Who's behind this? It's a trans NIH initiative. They have so much power behind this, so much money behind this. And it looks like in the near future, we could have ourselves an opioid vaccine because people are dropping dead left and right from fentanyl, from other opioid overdoses. Imagine Imagine if people had opioid vaccine that effectively protected the brain and central nervous system from fentanyl and other dangerous opioids, thereby allowing a person to not OD. You know, people that are EMTs and police officers, they can die from fentanyl. It's so powerful that someone that's opioid naive, especially, even if they get around a lot of fentanyl powder, it could be enough to overdose. So, I mean, this vaccine is not just for people that are at risk from, you know, using opioids, getting laced with fentanyl and then dying. It's for people that work around it too. So now let's talk about how this opioid vaccine will actually work to protect your brain. Here's another quote. An anti-opioid vaccine would protect the brain and nervous system by stimulating the body to create powerful antibodies that target and bind to opioid molecules, preventing them from crossing the blood-brain barrier. Here's exactly how it works. Step one is getting the opioid vaccine. Once a person is vaccinated to opioids, then for example, if they were to take a bunch of fentanyl, the fentanyl opioid opioid molecules would normally, without the opioid vaccine, get into the uh, body, get into the blood, get into the central nervous system. And as soon as it passes the blood-brain barrier and gets into central nervous system activity, well, that person could easily overdose unless they have a really high opioid tolerance and dependence. Now, for an example, if somebody were vaccinated and they were to take a bunch of fentanyl, which would kill the unvaccinated person, the vaccinated person is going to create powerful antibodies that actually go up to the fentanyl opioid molecules. They bind to them and they sequester the opioid molecules in the blood in a peripheral area before the opioid fentanyl molecules can cross the blood-brain barrier, get into the central nervous system, and as a result, it's going to save your life. Why? It prevents the respiratory depression. If the opioid vaccine binds to the fentanyl or other opioid molecules, binds to them, and then traps them in the blood, sequesters them in an alternative area, some other area besides getting past the blood-brain barrier, then you're not going to have the crazy central nervous system depression and that severe respiratory depression is what causes overdose. I'm a, I'm a survivor of an overdose. Uh, many years ago, over nine years ago now, I took a very high amount of methadone tablets and Valium tablets and I took a whole bunch and within less than 48 hours, I was OD'd. Luckily, my mom found me. My lips were blue. My face was purple. There was vomit coming out of the sides of my mouth. She called the EMTs, the ambulance. They got there just in the nick of time and they saved my life by giving me naloxone. Then they took me to the hospital and I was there for a week. So the reason that I OD'd and would have died had there not been, you know, EMT medical intervention, the combination of the long acting CNS depressant methadone and the long acting CNS depressant Valium caused a synergistic effect Two CNS depressants, both really long acting equals synergy. One plus one equals three or more. In this case, it was probably 10. Two respiratory depressors put together, long acting. That's the result is it's very easy to stop 
breathing, and that's how you die. So the opioid vaccine, again, once a person's vaccinated, this is how it'll work. Their body will produce powerful antibodies that if an opioid comes into their system, the opioid molecules are going to be attacked by those antibodies produced by the vaccine, the adjuvant opioid use disorder vaccine, and bind to them, sequester them in the blood, trap them there, put them in prison so they never get past your blood-brain barrier, never get into your brain and central nervous system, never cause respiratory depression, never cause overdose. How cool is that? I'm really excited about this right now. They're in the process of developing the vaccine. They're going to be testing it and going through trials. So eventually it should, you know, looks like it's going to be FDA approved in the near future. Probably going to take a few years. If you want to learn more about the opioid vaccine and the NIH HEAL initiative, I'll put some really helpful links in the description box of this video if you'd like to learn more. With that being said, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed and you want more of these types of videos, you're welcome to subscribe. If you got value from this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Thanks so much.